why Jerry should stay aggressive in this portfolio. All right, so I'm, I'm working with these guys from California yesterday. We're going to be leaving the scene because they don't want to give Governor Gruesome another dime of income because Governor Gruesome it sucks. Now, Gruesome will be president. It's, under, it's guaranteed. He's already been it's probably Gruesome and Shapiro. Ugh. Ugh. But that's probably what's going to happen. Not 2024, but 2028. You heard it here first. It'll be Gruesome and Shapiro. And we got to make, we got to be able to mock Shapiro just because he has a, a Shapiro as his name doesn't mean he's beyond mockery, by the way. And anyone who says you're anti, you can all go pound sand. You got to be able to mock people. I don't care what religion, race, anything. They got to be able to be mocked. That's just a fact, Jack. Anyway, so that's going to be the Democratic uh, Party. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if Shapiro wants to be VP or not. And also be two white guys. And the Democrats can't have two white guys. We know that. But anyway. So my man Jerry, who's a race car driver, and his better half are fleeing California uh, next year. And uh, Jerry says, you know, I got a portfolio that's being managed by a lady. And the lady seems like she's doing okay. I, I think the fees she's charged are too high. But, you yeah, know, that's okay. If Jerry's getting a good value out of it, um, I got no problem with that. If you're getting good value for the fees you pay, that's okay. Now, at the end of the day, I say, look, just put in the Fidelity Balance Fund. You know, you can find the Fidelity Puritan Fund. You know, the T. Rowe Price, I can't remember, the Equity Income Fund. Does T. Rowe Price have uh, bonds in there? The Equity Income, I can't remember. But anyway. There's a million different, or the Vanguard Balance Fund, there's a million different things to do. Notice I did not say Wellington. All right, I did not say Wellington because until Wellington gives up on his DEI woke corporate culture, they can pound sand, all right? Uh, freaking Mr. Morgan, I forgot his name, first name, uh, Morgan, who founded Wellington, has got to be spinning in his grave of what they've done to his uh, franchise. Anyway, so going back to my man Jerry, the race car driver. All right, so Jerry says, should I be a little bit less aggressive? Because I, I think he's mid-60s, 67. I think his wife is 62, if memory serves. I said, no, 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 you don't need to be. And here's why. Jerry's got two rental incomes, uh, pushing off 5500 bucks a month total, in total. He's also going to turn one of his equity index annuities into an income stream. That's going to pay him a guaranteed of about 11000 a month. All right, so just between his two income, his rental property is fifty-five hundred bucks a month, not eleven thousand a month, eleven thousand a year. Percent. Uh, so between those, that's sixty-five thousand a year. Just, and I hate to say guaranteed income, but it's pretty doggone close to guaranteed income, assuming he keeps a tenant and where he's located in the price of his house, he's probably good opportunity to keep a tenant in his his rentals. All right, on top of that, he's going to get Social Security. He'll take it at sixty-seven, which I think will be next year if memory serves. I can't remember, but. That's yeah, another, I you know, say, three thousand a month. All right. On top of that, his wife, his better half, she's got an equity index annuity too, and uh, she's not all as comfortable with it because she wants to spend it. But I said, if she gets hang on for seven more years, she's guaranteed to get a uh, a doubling of her income base. And and I'll, I'll go into this in my course on investment basics, but I don't want to go into it right now. But uh, we'll just call her name Maria. We'll say Maria. If you just hang tight before spending that annuity out, it's going to pay you, I mean, probably, uh, what you put, about 15000 a year, guaranteed. 15000 All right, so that, so between Jerry's annuity of 10000 Maria's annuity of 15000 that's basically 2000 a month. The rental income of 5500 bucks a month, that's 7500 bucks a month. On top of that, Jerry's Social Security, roughly 3000 a month, that's 10500 a month. On top of that, Maria's going to get Social Security, another 2500 bucks. Now we're talking a significant amount of money. That's why they're gonna get, you know, freaking Diddy Mao from uh, California. Eh? You gotta say aloha to California. Eh? But anyway, and so now they're gonna be, so and they don't have a huge portfolio because the annuities took up half their portfolio. So they got, you know, 400,000 bucks left, something like that. And I'm like, nah, just let that sucker grow, man. It's okay to be aggressive in that because you got all this other income coming in from various sources. You got diversified income from annuities, social security, and rentals. Um, you, you're not even going to really need to touch your portfolio. You know what I'm saying? So now Marie wants to spend some now because she's younger. She's like, dude, I just save all this to leave my kids. I said, exactly, Maria. Don't fly coach so your kids can fly first class. Heaven, you know, heaven forbid. Now they're going to go buy a nice house in some place in, the, in a red state. Kudos to them. And as I said before, if only 10% of Republicans left California, the world would change. If you're a red state voter, a, a Trump voter in California, you get the hell out of Dodge, dude. These guys are, his family members are. You go to Arizona, you go to Nevada, you go to North Carolina, you go to Georgia, these purplish states. 
you'll change the word. Remember, world, remember, California had more Trump voters than Texas did. All right? California had more Trump voters than Texas did. If 10% of California Trump voters left, you know how many voters that is? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was like 3 million people voted for Trump in California. If 10% of those people left, that'd be 300,000 people left. That would change everything in Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, and Georgia. You see what I'm saying? You know, Texas, too. But why would you want to live in Texas? You know? <laughs> but anyway, that would change everything. So ten, you, you have a duty, Trump voter in California, to get the hell out of Dodge and save the country and eventually, eventually save the world. That does not mean Trump is going to save the country. That does mean there'll be a battle more so the Democrats won't be as nuts as they are now because they kind of got California locked in. Pennsylvania probably locked in. Michigan probably because half wit up there. But still, these big four, Nevada, Georgia, North Carolina, and Arizona, and maybe even New Hampshire. I know if you're in California, you're not going to want to go to New Hampshire. Too doggone cold. But still, maybe even New Hampshire. If the Republicans can secure those five states because you did your due diligence as a, a loving American, you said, I'm going to save America. Save America. Save the clock tower. Anyway, just going back to Jerry. So Jerry doesn't need to be less aggressive on his portfolio. He's got cash. He's got tons of equity. He's got tons of income coming in. It's okay to be aggressive in that regard. All right. Love your thoughts. Don't forget, if you like what we do here, uh, we're gonna be, you can sign up for my email list. It'll be in the Doobie Duke. You can buy me a cup of coffee. It'll be in the Doobie Duke as well. Buy me a cup of decaf, please. I take decaf. And, uh, and you can join my local channel as well. All that's in the Doobie Duke down below. We'll see you guys.